Okay, in previous two videos I talked about the preeclampsia in specific, okay? And I told you that I will back to the other uh, types of hypertensive disorders of pregnancy talking briefly about each one of them, okay? So I will start with hi chronic hypertension. What is a chronic hypertension? To diagnose chronic hypertension, it requires us at least one of the following non hypertension before pregnancy or before 20 weeks so preeclampsia is pregnancy is a, a hypertension that occurs in pregnancy and after 20 weeks if we have a hypertension that happens before happens before pregnancy then we have a chronic hypertension or before 20 weeks then we have a chronic hypertension but take care that uh, <clears throat> before 20 weeks uh, preeclampsia may be due to GTD, but if we don't have GTD, then it is a hypertension. GTD is gestational trophoplastic diseases, okay? The chronic hypertension, mostly essential or secondary, okay, with idiopathic underlying pathology, but maybe, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, maybe mostly essentially, uh, essential hypertension uh, primary, okay? But maybe secondary uh, to to renal diseases or vascular diseases or endocrine disease, okay? What is chronic hypertension? Uh, also, we have, uh, we may diagnose chronic hypertension if we have a persistent elevation in blood pressure above 12 weeks post-delivery. So let's, let's assume that we discovered the, the hypertension after 20 weeks of delivery, okay? And we thought it is a preeclampsia but it still existed, uh, <clears throat> it's still there after uh, 12 weeks of uh, post-delivery, okay? So then we also we, we diagnose this case as a chronic hypertension because when we defined a preeclampsia, I said that it should be, it should not exceed uh, 12 weeks post-delivery. If it is exceed, if it exceeds, then we have a chronic hypertension, okay? So, non-hypertension before pregnancy or before 20 weeks, persistent invasion and blood pressure more than 12 weeks post-delivery. Now, let's move to the hypertension disorders related to pregnancy. Chronic hypertension is not related to pregnancy. Related to pregnancy, preeclampsia, I talked about it. So, gestational hypertension. What is gestational hypertension? It's simply, it is preeclampsia minus proteinuria preeclampsia without proteinuria okay so uh, it should be after 20 weeks of pregnancy okay or 48 to 72 hours after delivery okay and it should not exceed 12 weeks of delivery and we should have a hypertension with more than 140 over 90 blood pressure so just preeclampsia preeclampsia without a protein urea we call it gestational hypertension now the eclampsia what is eclampsia Eclam eclampsia is more a complication of preeclampsia okay and most of times is the presence of tonic clonic seizure in women with PET that cannot attribute it to other causes so it is a seizure tonic clonic grand mal seizure okay in women with PET that cannot attribute to other causes. She, she doesn't have hypocalcemia, hypercalcemia, any toxicity, any epileptic, epileptic status, or any other cause of the uh, tonic-clonic seizure except of a preeclampsia. Okay, especially this eclampsia especially happens in severe a preeclampsia, in severe preeclampsia, but still may happen in mild preeclampsia or even a, as a first presentation of preeclampsia actually 25 percent of cases preeclampsia is presented as eclampsia as the first presentation of uh, of preeclampsia so it still can happen in these two conditions but more more happens with severe preeclampsia okay 38 to 5 uh, 53 of uh, eclampsia happen uh, before labor okay and uh, 18 to 36 happened during labor and 11 to 44 percent having after labor so 
uh, they are near numbers, okay, but in most cases happen before labor, then after labor, then during labor, during labor. So we have to take care of eclampsia because of severe condition. I'll talk about the management of eclampsia and preeclampsia and management or, uh, or in general of hypertensive disorders in pregnancy in the next and the last video about this subject. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video, management of hypertensive disorders in pregnancy. Thank you. Thank you.